how the knight lost his armor. In ancient times there lived a noble knight named Lycalog. He had everything a true knight should have. A horse, a long spear, a sword, armor, and a loyal squire named Sancho Poncho. Everything was good, except for one problem, his loyal squire Sancho Poncho. Due to this cunning assistant, Knight Lycalot constantly found himself in various troubles and predicaments. He would have kicked Sancho Poncho to the curb, but as we already mentioned, the squire was very loyal. Every time Lycalot would shout and try to send Sancho Poncho away, he would soon return, looking sheepish, sniffling and shuffling his feet. Good-hearted Lycalot would grumble, but eventually forgave the squire and took him back into service. This time the noble knight Lycalot arrived in the glorious city of Bournemouth for the knightly tournament. A knightly tournament is when a noble knight dons his iron armor, mounts his horse, takes a long spear and a large shield and charges head-on against another knight just like him. Whoever knocks the other off his horse with the spear wins. Like a lot and his squire arrived at the tournament organizers, registered as participants and went to the tavern. Just as the knight headed to his room to rest before the competition and regain his strength, Sancho Poncho went to the inn. It was there that tragedy struck. The squire sat down at a table where the squires of other knights were playing cards and joined the game. Sancho Poncho won a couple of rounds, got caught up in the excitement, but then a streak of bad luck hit him. The squire thought he would soon win back his losses, but it turned out he lost everything he had. Or rather, not everything he had, but everything that belonged to like a lot, his master. Sancho Poncho had to give up everything, his horse, armor, spear and shield. Only by a miracle did he not lose the sword. Another squire, who won like a lot's belongings, laughed and told Sancho Poncho, Leave the sword so your knight can chop off your foolish head. In the morning Lycalot certainly didn't chop off Sancho Poncho's head, but he was furious. Then he looked at the tournament schedule and saw that his first fight was against the knight whose squire Sancho Poncho had lost all of Lycalot's gear to. Listen here, my loyal fool, said Lycalot to the squire. Here's a purse of money that I wisely decided to carry with me instead of giving it to you to hold. There's not much money here. Go to the shop and buy everything on this list. Meanwhile, I'll go to Noble Knight Robbins and try to negotiate for him to return my gear if I win in our tournament match. Sancho Poncho took the note and went to the shop to buy supplies. Looking at the list, the squire shaked his head in thought. It appeared that his master, the glorious knight like a lot, intended to abandon knightly duties and take up cooking. Among other things, the list included various frying pans, pots, lids and even a mop. When Sancho Poncho bought everything he needed, he returned to the tournament grounds. Like a lot was already waiting for him. Well, I managed to negotiate, said like a lot to his assistant. Glorious Knight Robbins is confident in his victory because he thinks that without my horse, armor and trusty spear, I am no match for him. So when I knock him off his horse, he will return everything you lost to his squire. But how do you plan to fight without your equipment? exclaimed Sancho Poncho. Did you buy everything I ordered? Noble Lycalot asked instead of answering. Dump it out here. The squire emptied the bag with all the kitchenware he had bought. And then the knight began to create something strange and incredible. He started tying small frying pans to his arms and legs instead of armor. He attached several lids from pans to his stomach, tried a lid from the biggest pot as a shield and even attempted to use another pot as a helmet. Why are you just standing there? Like a lot shouted. Come on, help me get suited up. Are you a squire or what? We need to make holes in the helmet, otherwise how will I see? Uh, and the horse? Sancho Poncho asked. You don't have a horse, my lord. Lycalot didn't answer but only looked mysteriously at his squire. 
When noble knight like a lord rode into the arena on Sancho Poncho, clattering with pots, pans and lids, with a mop in hand, the audience laughed so hard that the stands nearly collapsed under them. Well, that's certainly not exactly by the rules, the herald said after they stopped laughing. But I think it's always good for the audience when brutal tournament battles are interspersed with comedic performances. Thank you for the amusement, glorious knight like a lot. You may begin the match. Like a lot nodded solemnly to the herald and spurred Sancho Poncho. At that, the squire's eyes bulged and he took off at full speed. Lycalot's eyes were alight with the excitement of battle and concentration. When his opponent, Knight Robbins, clad in full armor with a real horse, a huge shield and a sturdy spear was knocked off his horse by a blow from the mob, laughter in the stands ceased. The spectators gasped. They realized that since noble knight Lycalot could defeat his opponent while wearing ridiculous armor made of frying pans, wielding a mop as a weapon and riding his squire, just imagine what he could do in full gear! And knight Lycalot lived up to the crowd's expectations. When knight Robbins kept his word and returned everything that Sancho Poncho had lost the previous evening, Lycalot donned his real armor, effortlessly dealt with the remaining competitors in the tournament and took the first place. Thus he became known not only as a great warrior, but also as a very resourceful knight, capable of extricating himself from any predicament.